And we're live! Okay. Hi everyone from around the world. Um, I'm here with my lovely granddad to provide um, moral support as I open my selection result live on the air. Some of you might recognise him from uh, the recent documentary that appeared in The Guardian, If I Die on Mars. Although he's here to show how young and lovely he is, um, not crying all about everything. So say hi granddad. Good morning. Yeah, it's quite early here in the UK. It's about 7 a.m. So uh, the rest of my family didn't particularly want to be awake for this. Oh, hi, Grandma. <laughs> in the background. Um, although I do have my sister here. It's a picture in the background to provide support as well. Okay, so uh, without... Well, what, what are you thinking, Granad? Um, what are your thoughts before I open the results? Well, uh, I don't know. A little bit of intrepidation, uh, obviously. Uh, but uh, I'm looking forward to uh, obviously uh, uh, viewing the uh, the result. Okay, well let's hope let's hope it's a positive one. I have I have the email now because the results came out about an hour ago from Mars One, so I have the demographics, but I don't know whether I'm through yet. So let's get up the email. Here we go. Okay, I have one email here from the Mars One Selection Committee. Your Mars One astronaut selection round two result. Okay, I'm going to open it. Ooh. Dear Mr. Ryan John MacDonald, Congratulations! You and only 99 other aspiring astronauts around the globe have been invited to round three of the astronaut selection process. <laughs> well done! Excellent! Oh. What a result! That is magnificent! Wow. <laughs> Ah. Yeah. Yes, yes, I'm through, Grandma. <laughs> Final hundred in the world. Absolutely fantastic. How many out of? Um, there was originally two hundred and two thousand. Yeah, I know that. Um, How many are there now? A hundred. Good grief. <laughs> you are well, one step close. Concentrate on your work. <laughs> You are one step closer to launching the dawn of a new era, human life on Mars. How many through from the UK, does it say? Yeah, there are, um, I've checked the demographics, there are eight people through from the UK, of which I am the only male. Goodness gracious so, me. So that means that effectively um, I'm representing 30 million people at the moment. <laughs> Well, wow. I my God, you'll be more popular than ever. You've got work to do. You'll have to put your feet <laughs> on the ground. Ah, uh, yes, I'm, I'm certainly aware of all my Oxford work. <laughs> um, so what? So what I what I have here is um, some of the demographics that I'd like to talk about briefly about um, what are, what are the people from all around the world who have got through. So there's 50 men and 50 women from around the world, of which 39 are from the Americas, 31 from Europe. Uh, I believe that's 16 from Asia seven from Africa and seven from Oceania, uh, with eight people in the UK that actually makes the UK the second largest country in the world in terms of applicants um, that are through with residents in the UK only after the United States. What is the um, balance between male and female now? Uh, well it's 50-50 around the world but in the UK it's actually uh, seven females and one male. My word. So um, I'm sure I'm sure some of you watching will be wondering about some of the other candidates who featured on this channel in various videos that I've made in the past. So um, of the ten candidates that were featured in Mars One Astronaut Candidates Live, three of us are through: uh, myself, Kay, and Yari. Um, and with regards to other candidates who featured in other videos, I can confirm that um, Hannah Earnshaw, who went on uh, BBC Breakfast with me, is also through. Uh, as are Maggie Lou, who went on the Alan Titchmarsh show with me, and Alison Rigby, who was in the video uh, Meet the Martians, which I did a couple of months ago. So actually, that's that's a very worrying, actually, because I'm the only male who's, candidate who's been featured on my YouTube channel that's survived, which is kind of a bit worrying. I hope I'm not cursed or something. Um, <laughs> Um, uh, also, with regards to the candidates who were featured in the recent Guardian documentary, um, If I Die on Mars, um, I, I've looked at the list of 100 candidates, and it it seems that Dina and Jeremiah, unfortunately, did not make it um, past this cut. Um, but what, what I'd like to say for um, any of the 660 round two candidates who didn't get through, don't give up. Apply again. Uh, there are many people who 
apply to astronauts' lecturing programs all to, up to anything around 10 or even, I think the record's like 17 times before they get their chance. So don't give up because determination is one of the defining characteristics you need to pull off a mission like this. Um, so I believe Mars One say they're going to be reopening their application process some point later this year. So by all means apply again and if at some point I don't get through then I'll certainly be applying again after well, I finish my PhD. Sorry, go ahead, Grana. I'm applying. Oh, you applying. So um, you want to come to Mars with me? Excellent. So what are you doing for your physical training, Grandad? Well, I think they're short of a clown. <laughs> oh, well, I'm, sh I'm sure there's plenty of room for amusement. Um, so let's see. So people apply again in 20... And, and in particular, if you haven't, didn't have the chance originally to apply back in um, April 2013 when they opened, by all means, regardless of where you are in the world, apply in 2015. Mars One will need people to replace any crews that drop out in the next rounds. They will need people ultimately for the second and third human mission. So it doesn't matter where you are or what your background is, so long as you're obviously healthy and you're above the age of 18, I certainly encourage you to apply in 2015. And maybe one day I'll see you on Mars if I'm lucky, because now I have a one in four chance of going into astronaut training, which is at the end of this year, which, which is incredible. And, I, I'm I'm so excited, but th this is this is just the beginning. It's going to get very serious now with group challenges which are coming up. Uh, we're, we're going to be put into groups of between ten and fifteen people, forming international crews, and there's going to be some very intense challenges. And in fact, tomorrow I'm going to be running a Q and A session with Dr. Norbert Kraft, who is the head of the Crew Selection Committee, in order to ask him a bit more about round three, what we can expect coming up. And so, if any of you watching, um, do have any questions for Dr. Craft, but be sure to send them in and I'll be making a list towards the end of today. Um, so I, I think that's all that I have to say for the moment. Um, so do you want to say some words, Grandad? <laughs> yeah, well, it's time now for some serious training in the chariots. <laughs> ah, yes. Uh, yeah, there, there's some, for those who don't know, there's some um, quite tall peaks up in uh, Northumberland near the Scottish border. Um, yeah, we're certainly going to climb those. should be some fun. Um, so, let's see, was there anything else? Um, well, I suppose the only thing to say is thank you all for watching, and particularly thank you to everyone who's been watching on YouTube and supporting me ever since the beginning. It, it, it really motivates me to keep doing this, seeing all the wonderful supporting messages that you keep giving me. And, Congratulations, well, <laughs> by the way. Oh, yes, you forgot to say that. Yeah, th thanks, thanks very much. Um, and I, cer I certainly have plenty more um, good YouTube videos coming up, and... Well, I'm going to have to dash now because um, Radio Oxford, um, BBC Radio Oxford want me on the air at about 7.50 to talk about the selection results. Um, so I imagine it's going to be a quite hectic couple of days, but uh, congratulations to everyone around the world who's made it into the final 100. Uh, commiserations to those who unfortunately didn't pass this time. Definitely apply again. And I hope to keep you all updated with the mission and my progress in it. Um, and until then, I'll sign off. Okay, bye everyone. Bye.